Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I have a uh, project to share with you. This is actually a take on my waterfall folio that I have out there. I have a tutorial on. Um, and what I did was I had several people ask about 4x6 photos, so I decided to make some adjustments on this project and make it so you can accommodate 4x6 photos. The paper collection that I used was Simple Stories Life Documented, and it's a 12x12 paper kit. So what I did on the front cover is I just cut the paper because I really like this little camera here and it says life documented and then I went ahead and embellished the little camera piece here a little bit more um, just to add some dimension. I used some solid stampin' up uh, paper here and punched out a circle and then I went ahead and punched this out as part of the design paper and just lifted it up on some dimensional foam tape just to give it some dimension. I cut up a little piece of scrap here and used one of my punches here to create this little notebook paper. This is a word bubble I had in my stash. It's actually a brad. I cut the prongs off. And then um, I have a little tab here that I die cut out. And there's the side. It's got a one inch spine. And there is the back with all the cute little words on it. So what I did was you open it up. And on the inside front cover, I have a little paper clip here with a little tag. And this is actually a sticker that I had in my stash with this cute little arrow on it. So it's double sided. Again, another one of those little brads that I found in my stash. And this is a metal photo corner that I just cut the prongs off and just glued it down with some glossy accents. Again, I created another little note card here and I punched out a star with a little paper clip. And then I put the word notes. And these stickers are actually from um, Teresa Collins, her Christmas collection. But I thought the red matched really well. So on the front cover here, I created an accordion pocket. And I do have a tutorial on how I create the accordion pocket on my YouTube channel as well. And there's a magnet closure here. So this opens up and then inside, again, this is accordion, so I have some, I have three photo mats in here. One, two, and three. But just that they're the same on both sides. I got some design paper on both sides. I love the arrow paper. So then on this side, this is where I accommodated the four by six photos. So these photo mats are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Uh, so you will have to trim your pictures down just a smidge if you want a border of this paper to show. If not, then you just stick them on there because the black is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So what I did is because these uh, this waterfall is a little bit bigger, I wanted to create something to just keep it secure down. So I created a little flap here. This is something I had on my stash. It's uh, a resin piece from Prima. And then there's a little paper clip here from Stampin' Up. So this just flips up like this. And I have a magnet closure in here as well. And then these papers, these solids, were all from Stampin' Up. They just, I found, just found colors in my stash that match the uh, all the polka dots here. So I have this red, and blue, and the dark blue, and the gold, and the green. So again, there you go. That's my larger version of the waterfall folio and it will accommodate four by six photos so there you go everybody that's my little project using simple stories life documented there you have it have a great day thanks